Okay, so we've got a small job this morning. Um, it's wiring this boiler up here. Uh, we've got to fit a Hive Smart Stat to it. The stat is going to be, the receiver is going to be mounted somewhere like that. We're going to run a bit of conduit up between to take our wires in. Um, and then we need to change this cable here that's been wired on a plug, put a piece of five core in there, I think it's gonna be, run it round into this cupboard, just to wire the base there. And then this stat here is gonna be mounted over here near this switch. So that's where the thermostat's gonna go. So first things first, what we need to do is get this lot here wired in and get the cover off. Okay, so we just need to open this and this should unclip where these wires go in. So we'll just disconnect that and get all this out of the way. We don't want any of this. Get that back to how it should be. Inside the boiler, it's dead simple. It's nicely labelled. So all I've got to take is a live neutral CPC. Look, that's the live out to a stat. That's the live back. So it's super easy. If you are enjoying the video please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and hit the like button. So I'm just using cable ties just to clip this five core from the boiler over to the fuse spur, keeping it nice and neat. Once I've got the cable clipped across into the fuse spur, we can then start stripping the cable, exposing the uh, inner cores, and then we can route them up into actually where the receiver is gonna mount and get ready to wire that. So we've got all our wires in. We do need live neutral CPC from there down to there. I'm gonna wire from the boiler into here, fuse spur, and then obviously load up to there. Uh, wiring here wise, we've still got to connect these two up. So our 230 will come out the boiler, back up into our hive, back down. Um, it tells you on the back of the hive where everything goes there, so it's so small. Um, we've got neutral live, then one will be our, number one is our 230 volt from the boiler, and then three will be the switch live back to the boiler to make it fire. So we'll get that wired now. So now I've just routing these inner cores up from the bottom patris up to the top patris where the receiver is going to mount. You'll see when I actually uh, connecting the grey and the black wires. I'm over sleeving these in a brown sleeving just to identify the cables that they are actually a live cable. I'll also identify the grey and black cable with the brown sleeving at the boiler side of this uh, five core as well. Last thing to do is to pair the system. So just pressing the little flame in the bottom right, press and hold it until the actual light that's blinking blinks white. You can't really tell on the video, but now it's just started blinking white. Stage two, put the batteries in for the first time, clip the back cover on. Then when it initializes, it'll start up, it'll go into a searching mode and you have to wait for it to go through this mode We'll speed, we'll speed this up in a second on the video, but then it'll go into pairing and that's when you have to wait. So now we're pairing, we've got to wait through this. Again, I'll speed this up. Paired successfully, but this can take a few minutes. Now we're paired, we need to test the system. So the easiest way is to turn the thermostat up and put a load on the boiler. So it'll send a switch signal now. We should see the green light come on on the bottom right of the receiver once we get a target temperature higher. 
This is a standalone system. We've not got the Hive Hub. We're going to do another video where we add the Hive Hub into it just to make it a full smart thermostat where we can control it on our phone. But now we'll be looking for the boiler to check that we've got a flame in the corner of the boiler display so we know that it's giving it the signal that we need. And there we have it. The flames on the boiler, it's all working. It's as easy as that. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.